Well, hello everybody, JT Bear here from Bear Family Farms, and I look like trash because I just got out of the barn, coming off of work, and on my way home, I noticed that my favorite herd of cattle had been moved, so since I've actually got this happy little phone that I was just sticking my finger in front of the camera of, I'm gonna have to get used to that, I thought I would share with you guys, well, my favorite cattle herd, and more importantly, uh, my favorite cattle management practices uh, on the way to and from the barn and to the best of my knowledge anywhere within our rural municipality because I haven't seen a lot of other cattle being uh, moved in this particular way so let's try and do this from the other camera all right so here we have a look at some cattle that are looking at me rather suspiciously they're used to seeing my car fly by I've been watching this herd for oh I would say well I've been at the barn for like a year and a half so and unlike every other herd that seems to be set it and forget it type livestock management if you look carefully you'll notice there is a ribbon of um, well poly ribbon I it's not really a poly wire it's more of a more like a ribbon but these cattle are moved every day and as such I have watched the quality of their grass improve dramatically as compared to a lot of the other animals that I see and they're left out and their grass is just getting worse and worse and uh, yeah for the most part I don't notice cow pats that have been left for a couple of years here there is another herd that I drive by in the mornings and I am quite certain that they use chemical pesticides and such to deal with their animals because there are cow pats there that have been there the whole time I've been driving past. So if there are 18 month old cow pies, that kind of says to me that the dung beetle population is not what it should be in that field. But I mean like, I'm speaking from what I've learned but not what I've experienced, right? So all I can do is observe and try and learn until I can get the opportunity to go out and experience. But I thought since I've got this handy dandy little phone now, I would try and get some images of these cattle for you because these are my happy thought on the way home. One day I'll be leaving the barn to go and move my own cows. Cow calf pears, little steers, and just everything that goes along with it. That one's scratching its ear. That is a less than graceful position for that little white calf there. All right, everybody, I am heading home, but I wanted to share these all with you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I didn't cover up the mic too bad on this thing. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Much love, everybody.